I'm Diana White, I'm the director of the National Association of Math Circles. In the back is Brandy Wiegers, the associate director, holding up the camera. Uh, and so forth. Yeah, welcome. We'll do a more formal kickoff tomorrow morning when we start the plenaries at 8.15. For now, though, I will simply hand it over to George McNulty, who will lead our first demonstration session on Math Circles. So then we'll have dinner, then there'll be another demonstration session. Okay. So, so here, all at that. least there's going to be one good session tonight, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, George will be awesome. Okay. I was supposed to talk to something. Yeah. Not with George Lizard. So we're doing this low tech today. Uh, if I draw a group, who does that remind you of? Anybody? Who would always do these problems about grid? Oh, Tatiana. Tatiana, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but this one is not one solo to Tatiana. We solve this problem. Uh, from our friend Jim Henley, who wrote this book. So I'm publishing, you know, I'm pushing his book. It's called The Proof in the Pudding and the Pudding. Oh, yeah. And, and the Pudding. Uh, it's the first thing in there. We, we got this at one of those mass test meetings. Uh, I don't know, we didn't get Jim to sign it. Anyway. Yeah. And we did it in our math circle. We have a math teacher circle in Columbia, South Carolina. And we did this two hour session in the morning, a little break for snacks. Sharp middle <coughs> school teachers, some high school teachers. Uh, and then we did another session on it uh, a month or two later. Uh, one, of, one of the uh, math, uh, too late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, though. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, you know, so we began thinking about this problem, and one of the one of my colleagues, Jim Roberts, who's a person that always comes to our math circle, uh, spent most of his Life thinking about box spaces, but uh, he got interested in this problem and he wanted to do another one. So we did another mass circle. So two mass circle sessions about this problem. Now I know you're all smart, and we got 45 minutes instead of four hours. Right? Uh, but here's the problem: I can put a mirror in any square, right? but only diagonal. So, for example, I can put a mirror here, right? And what it'll do is if a light beam comes in, a laser beam comes in, it bounces off the mirror and redirects, right? So the, the light beams can come in horizontally or vertically, right? That's the hard part. You <laughs> got it? Okay. Now, we just want to make it uh, we want to put in these mirrors in such a way that the light beam travels the greatest distance, right? So you want to arrange, it's an optimization problem, you want to arrange the mirrors to get one of the light beams that comes in to travel as far as you can. So each time a light beam passes through the square, right, here's one, two, three, four, five, right? That path would be a one six, right? This is actually a left, one, two, three, four, five, six, the six by six square, okay? <clears throat> Let's just try it. Uh, I need your, your assistance. Uh, should I put a mirror in here? So who wants a mirror in there? Yeah, I'm not gonna Okay, what about there? Here? Which way? Down. This way? This way? This way? Yeah. Put it, put it in one. Okay. Uh, where else? Why don't you put more mirrors? Sarah? Does the light have to escape? 
Maybe you can capture it so that it just bounces around. Wouldn't that be great? You know, you can make this little light ball and you're hanging over there in the sunlight. All the light. All the light. All the knowledge out of the world from distance. In business, out of the world. Well, let me think. That's a nice question. Questions are very valuable. I have a question. Is this a signal mirror surface or both sides are mirror? Both sides are reflected. Oh, both sides. Oh, okay. And light can come from any. Yeah, it can be one horizontal one. or vertical. Yeah. Like you put one, one, you put a lamp here, a lamp here, a lamp here. But only one. Just one light. You can only put one in your house in the back of the light. Yeah, so you, the, the length of the path is the same as the width of the path. is the number of squares. So when a lightning comes here, it reflects out, that's a path, that's one step in the path. Right? It is been visited one square. Right. My visit is square again. It comes yeah. in and down to the So, do you get to decide where to put the light? You get to decide where to put the mirrors. How many are we not the light? Yeah, not the light. The light, the light just randomly comes from the. Well, you can. What you can say is that each light gives you a path. Right. So think about all the paths together. Okay. Among those paths all together, there's one that's longest. Oh. How long can you make that longest path? Oh, okay. Right? Let's do a sample. Let's put in a few more things. Well, that's the beauty of it. I've got one. You know, something like this. So so now let's. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Have more, like for zero mirrors. And now, I think one mirror, of course, let's try the ruby layer. Yeah. We're counting the number of squares. Let's take this one. Let's take this one. Light goes on. Yeah. 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 One, two. One, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the path of one time. Right? How many are we how many mirrors are we allowed? Let's try this one. Green. Any number. Any number of mirrors allowed? Yes. <coughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Right? And once you're out, you're out. You're out. Don't you back in. Okay. One. Two. Three, I got if you have, say, this is a, uh, a six by six, start with a four by four. Start with a four by four, and we'll see if you can think. Is there an upper bound? And the light can't get you out of that. Yeah. 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 It's not my job to answer questions. It's your job to raise questions. It's six by six, right? 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 I don't know if I just see it, even though it is. 
Then you bounce them. No. Oh, you go that way. So, how do you make it more? I don't think we can make it more. I don't think we can make it more. I don't think we can make it more. I don't think we can make it Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I can't get it more. That's why I'm here. I don't know. I don't know.
Yes, that's what, yes. Right. That's what we're trying to do. Set up through his computer at this point. So, so this he had a set up through his computer. This is doing the one downstairs. This is three. Well, it probably will work. This is I just think we won't be able to visually see. And I'm not well, sure where I'm actually downloads to. I'm not sure I can replicate what I just don't have. I was just yeah. 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 I would I would have the same <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, I do see Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I started in here. I, I can't tell you why. She was talking about the middle, so I thought, okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah. 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 Everything has to be one
No, he didn't say that. He did not say that. I, mean, I, I, I couldn't do it, but I might be. At first, that's what I thought it would be an episode. I, I can't do it. I don't I think I think I'm with you now. I wasn't sure. If you travel, if you travel, if you travel, if you travel, if you
Okay. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. We have to sort of uh, tie this up because uh, you know, we're, 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 <laughs> so first of all, we have some prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the person who first figured out that this was 22, raise your hand. Well, that was the existence for Oh, wow. So she actually got one of at least 22. Now, the person who first proved that you couldn't do better, raise your hand. Anna did, right here. I'll just just raise your hand. You did it in our group. Okay. But maybe someone did the single. Okay, they did it too in their group. In their group. Okay. So you have to have a group prize. No, no, no. Okay, and we have any prizes left? One. One. So who first did 54? They did. You got it. Okay. We did. And the same argument. You don't get a better prize for your same argument. You did. But this came from whole life. Yeah. They're just actually a dollar a piece. This book, you can get it at, well, at the Museum of Math up on the what, 20, 26th or 23rd or whatever just across on Madison Square. Henley, Henley got this up to 35. And then he gave up. Well, I don't want you guys to give up. So uh, anybody who wants to stay in the room here and work on this while the rest of us eat dinner, <laughs> Go ahead. Right. <laughs> okay. So that that's our presentation. Uh, we're a little bit early. Anybody have a, a, a question to ask about any of this? Something you can show you. Yes, sir. Do you use um, odds? Stand up. Talk about the odds, the five by five. Yeah, so what happens in the odd phase? Weird. It seems like there's there's always, There's always going to be a square that you lose. That you can't, right. you can't get. Yeah, right. right. There always seems to be a square that you can't touch. Um, okay, uh, I can say a few words uh, about uh, some, uh, some things that my colleague here, Robert, uh, taught her. Now, he said, okay, he was leave out all these questions here. And what happens is here's the that formula. If you have if you just have the four by four case, but I think this uh, this is gonna work. Uh, this kind of thing's gonna work in all the even cases, all the even numbers. You can first think about uh, Putting the mirrors in sort of like the, and if you put the mirrors in like this, then all the beams stay on the outside, right? So a beam that comes in here reflects out that way, so passes on these two. Uh, the beams that come in to the corner of the path is one. one. Uh, so there aren't any really long paths. And the idea, uh, the idea that Jim had was to, well, keep all the other paths short except for one. Right? You let one path in. So how do you how do you let a path in? Well, uh, how do you let a, a beam in? You can take out one of the mirrors 
And that would let a beam in, right? So you can see how it goes. It, it comes down here. You know, I should have used a, a piece of colored chalk, shouldn't yes. I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, and so it came in this way and went out there. All right. And then, then Jim said, well, you know, here's a square where the beam came through twice. That's good. Here's a square where the beam came through twice and twice, once, once. That's all you can do. All right. So all these are twice. How can I get two? Right. So that's long. Right? That works. That's 22. That's as long as it can be. It visits every square twice, except the ones on the edge. Right. And the ones on the edge. So every square. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's 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 the other the other beams are short, and this one is long. Now, if you go up to a bigger thing, six by six or eight by eight, uh, when you say you left the beam in and it goes around, it doesn't hit every square twice. If it didn't hit a square twice, what Jim did is he followed it down to the first square where it didn't go in twice, and he put a mirror. And then he reasoned like this. He said, well, the beam is going to bounce around in there and come out again. So it's going to have to hit the other side of that mirror. So it's going to hit that square spot. So now so he's, he's adjusted it. So now you can follow the new path around until the first square that you don't see it visiting twice. You put in another mirror. And, and this way you can always develop a being a path. You can always insert mirrors in the middle. In such a way that you get a path that visits every interior square twice, right? And and that'll uh, that will be the, the existence. The proof on the other side of it is is what that, that the most that can happen is that all of the edge squares can be visited at most once, except by the beams entering. And maybe the beam bounces across like this one. Or what? Or the one that's exiting. Where, okay, so there can be two squares, one where it's entering, one where it's exiting, where the edge of the edge square can be visited twice. All the other squares, all the other edge squares are visited once, right? So these formulas somehow have to reflect that. And then you have to rig it up. So that all the interior squares get visited twice. And then you use Jim Roberts algorithm of sticking in the mirrors. And that always can work. At least in the case when M is in. Yeah. Might I propose another idea, which is that sure. I think it's the case that if you have the four by four stand, stand up here and talk to all of those people. Um, I think that if you have the 4x4 four four solution, it's possible to make an 8x8 eight eight solution. Right? Facing them together. It. Yeah, something like that. So that would give an alternative proof because what that would mean is that if you construct the 4x4, four four, then you can construct the 8x8 eight eight existence, and that would give you by some induction argument. That you Maybe so. That's it. That's how we prove it. Maybe it's important to try to prove these. Well, try to prove that you can't have a light beam uh, that forms a loop. You know, it goes around the square. Uh, in other words, it goes into the square and bounces around forever and stops. A light bulb. Right? Well, okay. You make one of those, you stick it out in the daylight, and then to make a flashlight. You just cover up the thing and let the photons out. No battery or anything. Should that minus sign be a plus sign? And, uh, just oh, probably. N minus 2 squared. Yeah, plus. 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 Yeah